All right, guys, what's going on here? Basically doing the fluid formation to start to be on. This is basically the five second fix. So you go to add kickoff, change it to the out of possession, go to in possession, change it to the out of possession. That's pretty much all I'm doing right now. I'm taking the concept that we've been using in FIFA this year where the user's line length is lower than the computer's. And that basically builds a nice little, I guess, putting bodies in front of players, right? So that's the concept I'm going to use here in PES. Um, basically, I don't have to make any changes to the computer, only make changes to my own my own team. You may feel like it may be handicapping yourself in a sense, but honestly, I feel like the user has a lot of advantages already. Um, it's very easy in PES 17 to really dominate the computer. I'm really finding it a bit of a struggle now since making these changes, and I think that's what everybody's looking for is to make a long-lasting Master League. I'm just, you know, here just using some of the, the better teams in the game um, and just kind of getting a feel for it. Um, as you can see, the positioning looks fine. It's really about how it compresses and decompresses. I say that a lot in FIFA. And look at this right away, how they're going to attack me. They're going to use these through balls all day. Look at Ibrahimovic already doing his damage right away, um, taking advantage of, you know, my poor positioning uh, there for my defensive line. I really like that because... Now it feels like how we do in FIFA, where, you know, where the computer actually feels like a threat. And I think that's been missing in PES, um, where the computer's actually feeling like a threat properly. So with this adjustment, essentially what it is, it's basically lowering the line length of the, you know, the whole group of players. It's not spreading them out so they're all perfectly aligned with each other um, of the, you know, opposite team, so against the computer. This is why it just builds more bodies, like I said, more in front. If you watch real football, you see there's a little, not as much space um, as Pest thinks there is. And Pest, by default, there's so much space in between from from you know from end line to end line. I sorry, from goal line to goal line, really. And so I really got tired of that. It got very boring football. So making this adjustment has actually helped my experience a lot. Um, I'm always in for a challenge, and I feel like it has to be realistic looking. Um, for it to really be, you know, a proper challenge. And you see here, th their ball is going to play to Ibra, and Ibra is just going to dominate us, you know. And I've got a very aggressive, as Liverpool do, you know, with their fullbacks going up and down the pitch. But eventually I'll get into the right position here. And overall, it's it's been playing just really good for me. Um, like I said, I, I just got so tired of not having a challenge in pass because it just, just every match just eventually... You know, just kind of felt the same, despite you know them putting up a fight early on. Um, you know, and then I just can run away with it. And so, this is this has been a welcome challenge. I really wasn't a fan of my original five second fix where I changed it for both sides. While I liked the positioning, I felt like there was no threat at all um, for the computer. Uh, you know, basically, essentially handicapping them. And it's kind of like what we've had to do in FIFA. You can't have a very low line length for the computer. Because while defensively they may be in a good position, offensively they just can't get anything going. Because um, both games are built off of connected passes. Um, PES not as much as FIFA, but still does the same concept. Um, you know, PES is good about making the ball feel a little bit looser than, than FIFA. Um, but FIFA has better shooting compared to PES's very accurate, accurate shooting. Um, very powerful on the laces on every shot and you know it's it's kind of a, a balance here and that's where I'm really struggling like in one game I really want this and the other game I really want this like in PES I really just like everything else is playing okay I can I can get away with it and enjoy it but the second somebody takes a shot uh, it's just so easy I just slightly tap the shoot button and it's a it's a rocket and I play on manual shooting as well and it's just nothing uh, same with same with the computer. Their shooting is just the same, you know, very powerful, um, and you know, it, there's no dispersion. There's no you know pressure to perform when you're shooting. I, I think that's a that's a big thing that Pest um, Pest needs to work on in 18, and Konami need to really look into. Um, I know you guys probably heard the podcast of the Footy United, and and that's what we were talking about as well. We all really wanted to feel that pressure again. To perform and this is one way to do that is to basically fabricate the line length with this fluid formation change but then the other part that I, you have to basically adjust at the player rating level is is the shooting 
And I don't even think that would even affect it that much. I haven't touched it because I knew there'd be no point because you can't make adjustments after a master league has started or, um, you know, beforehand. And then, you know, their their stats increase anyway. So it's kind of a tough balance right now um, and, and looking at some of the values and what to change possibly. And I really want to keep it focused where it's on all platforms, not just the PC platform because i can make a lot of changes and and make them for just the pc and um, pc guys and then you know the console guys are kind of left with nothing and and i want everybody to enjoy their experiences with with the game so here in pest like i said it's it's been a joy to play especially as you get patches like this working Um, for those that are wondering this is actually the virtual red patch um, but with some heavy heavy adjustments by myself and icy reaper 31 um, we basically took the vir- the virtual red patch, the number one patch, um, so the version one, and then combined it with the PTE patch. And then we also combined it with Donny Avia's uh, premium stadiums um, and then added a bunch of Premier League, uh, not Premier League, but rather um, championship uh, stadiums that were floating around and um, used the turfs um, that are in this Donny Avia patch. And so we, we did a lot of work. And that's another reason why I want to play a lot more PES and get a Master League documented here on, on, uh, on my channel. Because I've put, we put in, I'd say Reaper and I put a good almost month in this entire patch. Even though it was somebody else's at the core, but we did a lot to modify it to our own preference. And so, um, and we put in a lot of work. Look at this ball. That's just those through balls again. Um, I love to see that. I love how the computer attacked. That's a great thing with PES is just the variety, but... Anyway, about the patch that we worked on, yeah, it's it's definitely worth it, and um, and that's what I'm saying is I basically want to use it. Um, I really want to enjoy the game too. You can see um, in this match and, and going forward, I've turned off the radar. I can't I can't look at the radar in this game, even though it may hinder me in terms of my camera angle. Um, I don't care um, because I got so sick and tired of seeing the the absolute terrible positioning and pass of the you know the, the back four never going past the halfway line and then the stupid defensive midfielder directly in front of them with just one forward so he's not even staying in between the forward you know and and the forwards uh, you know connected passes to the midfield etc he's just staying behind the forward i think it's just completely idiotic overdone tactics tactical adherence again that that has been done this year but that it's it's definitely moving in the right direction in terms of it it's not as bad as pest 15's uh, tactical adherence it's not as bad um as pest 16 you know with with the other factors such as you know near post you know, goals etc um and so you know overall i think pest 17 is really good i didn't want to make this video about you know my entire thoughts on pest 17 they're just coming out here as i'm kind of just blabbing on but i wanted to leave the uh, the rest of this one uh, up for you guys. Look at this little awesome play there. Love how the, the variety and the attacks are from the computer. Um, but I wanted to leave uh, this this video um, just running, uh, letting this entire match play out as I go, um, and just uh, leave you guys to enjoy it. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Um, let me know what you guys think about Pest Seventeen. Where are we? You know, where is the improvement going to be? Um, also, if you haven't already, my last Pest 17 video was about uh, the Footy United podcast. I got to be a guest on there, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Those guys are just amazing people. I've said enough. They're going to think I'm trying to start a bromance with them, so that's enough of that. But definitely check it out and subscribe to, you know, or you know, follow them on Twitter so you you know can't you don't miss uh, any more of their episodes. Look at this right through the middle again. Thankfully, we made a save. But, yeah, I was really struggling. And then eventually you'll see here, um, after you see this, I actually am going to change one thing. I'm going to do that advanced instruction to be type marking. Most of the time you don't have to do that as often. But Ibra was, was just giving me fits here. And as he should. He's Ibra Havovich, you know. And he's a fantastic player. So, so right away I'm just going to go to the game plan. Go to the advanced instructions. Go to defense. Put type marking on Ibra. And then I'm actually I'm going to go back in and do it again. Uh, I don't know if it does it for two two of the CBs to get on him or not, but I don't care. I'm just going to do it again. And you can see right away the little animation there. 
see there, Montip goes and, and uh, runs over to Ibra and watches him. So hopefully that'll shore out, shore up some things. But yeah, anyway, guys, as I was saying, um, Footy United, make sure to follow them. They're awesome individuals, amazing people, um, and are big, big past fans. Um, die hard, and that's what we need more of. And if Konami listens, listens to them, we'll be in an amazing, amazing shape for past 2018. Um, I can't wait to get a Master League going. If you guys have any suggestions on who should I use, I'm actually thinking about doing um, the Master League default players. So that, that brings a lot of uh, old memories back. Um, so that's something you know I'm thinking about doing. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that. What team? You know, the team has to definitely have a nice uh, kit, has to have a nice turf. Um, so I'm very picky. That's why I like playing here in Liverpool on this one because this turf is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and red is my favorite color. So, um, you know, it kind of goes hand in hand. I'm not a Liverpool fan. You guys know I'm a Fulham fan through and through. So that's my team. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, I'm uh, just one little quick thing. I'm actually going to try to get some, some golf going. So you'll see that. Tomorrow is uh, Sunday. It's going to be my birthday. I'm turning the big old 32. Um, so I've been doing this for a minute and uh, hoping to uh, record my golf round. So for those of you that have been itching to watch some, some terrible golf, you know, feel free. It'll be up. Uh, hopefully I can record it all. I'm going to be trying a different method on recording. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to let it play out. Um, as always, make sure to leave your comments below. And as always, always, take care and stay tuned.